Stop right there. This video is all about the two final bosses of Rise, so if that's spoilers for you, get out of here. Alright, now they're gone. My name is Hollow, your name is and this is Rage Gaming Videos. Today, I have a special video for you because it contains my blood, my sweat, and my tears. Mostly just my tears. You see, I did something terrible so you don't have to. I farmed and crafted the entire Nawa and Ibushi sets and their weapons. Yeah, I needed a lot of orbs to see if they're actually worth using. After all, these are the final bosses of the game. They're the only Elder Dragons currently, and they do have some really unique effects on their weapons called Nawa Soul and Ibushi Soul. So surely with that in mind, there's got to be something worth using here, right? No. No, not at all. Other than the sets looking pretty cool visually, I mean the Ibushi set is a sort of wind god theme, and Nawa's looks like an incredible orange Wukong creation. But mechanically, these are pretty weird. When we read the descriptions, they tell you how it works, while the reality is they work a totally different way than how is explained. It's pretty interesting to be honest, but it's also really disappointing. Let's start with how these sets work. By wearing the full five set of either the Nawa or full Ibushi set, you will gain a unique skill. This skill is called Fortunate, which is very comparable to another skill in the game called Good Luck. Simply put, what these Good Luck skills do are increase the chances that you'll get more quest rewards. The higher the level of the skill, the better the odds. Fortunate is similar to Good Luck, so similar that the game actually considers it Good Luck as well when it works. To show this in effect, we'll just do a quick quest and have a look at the items that we got at the end of the quest. By checking the items that appear in the rewards, we can see which ones have appeared because I was wearing the fortunate set. It's listed here where it says active skills, good luck. But I'm not wearing good luck, I'm wearing fortunate gear. So yeah, they're the same thing apparently. Perhaps the numbers are slightly different, but they work the same. So yeah, a full set of Ibushi on Nawa will provide you with another version of good luck, which is certainly useful. But you have to ask yourself, is it really worth wearing five parts of one of these sets, which would lose you a lot of other combat skills on your normal set, when you could just slot in, say, a talisman with good luck, or just three pieces of the good luck set? That's the medium S set for females, or the Utsutsu set for males. While there are certainly skills that are good on the Nawa and Ibushi sets, there's a lot that isn't, and the levels that you get on these skills are really low. Worst of all, these sets don't come with any decoration slots, which is completely build destroying. It is incredibly hard to justify this set already at this point. Like I said, a disappointing pair of armor sets from the only Elder Dragons in the game right now. But hold on, it gets interesting. Did you know about the unique effect of the weapons and how they activate a special boost when combined with the armor? It doesn't work how it's meant to though. On the description of these weapons, we can see the souls. In the case of the Ibushi weapon, we see Ibushi Soul, the rampage skill found on the fully upgraded Ibushi weapon of your choice. It says that it will increase elemental attack power with each piece of armor in the same set equipped. Very interesting. Potentially really good for an elemental build, literally increasing its power apparently. The Reality is strange though. You see, it doesn't seem to work. While I'm wearing the full Ibushi armor, as required in the description, and then an Ibushi soul weapon, nothing happens. There's no increase, no buff, nothing. However, if we take a Nawa weapon with a Nawa Souls ramp skill activated, suddenly something does happen. Is it an elemental attack power boost? No, it's 40% affinity. It's very strange. So by wearing the full Ibushi armor set and then having a Nawa sold weapon, you get 40% affinity. That could be pretty good. Let's take the long sword as an example then. This means we get blue sharpness, 180 damage, and 38 thunder element, plus ooh, a 40% affinity when we have this effect going. Not terrible, really. It's reasonable raw damage, a reasonable amount of thunder damage, and even 40% affinity. This is all at the low, low price of having to wear the full Ibushi set, which again, has no decoration slots, and a bunch of jumbled skills at level 1. Why would I ever wear that when I could wear the very powerful and meta longsword set that uses the Naga Kuga longsword? sword. That weapon has 180 damage as well, and white sharpness. Oh, and yeah, also just comes with 40% affinity while benefiting from the skills of my armor set, like attack power, crit boost, quick sheath, and more. You know, things that actually help a longsword player. So that's strange and probably not worth it, but that's the Ibushi set with a Nawa Soul weapon. What if we swap it? What if we wear the Nawa set and then use an Ibushi Soul weapon? In this case, it's explained that we'll increase our attack. Logically, you would assume attack power with each piece of armor in the same set equipped. 
Once again, this doesn't work. I'm wearing full Nawa with the Nawa weapon, and this does not happen. But if we use the Ibushi Soul weapon with the Nawa full set, suddenly we get plus 30 defense. I mean, that's actually quite a lot of defense, that's not terrible, but you could actually get this by using decorations or a talisman or whatever. There are other ways to get it without the cost of your skills and decorations. I think this is really interesting how this works. It matches the two Elder Dragons perfectly, these two creatures that desperately wanted to be together. So to get the full effect of their armor and weapon, you have to use a weapon of one and the armor of the other. I think that's really cool. But man, why does it require so much sacrifice? to even activate and what you get for that sacrifice isn't even relevant. I get that it'd be a bit lame if the gear of the final bosses was just way better than everything else in the game and that would ruin the potential of mix sets and experimentation while we form a meta but damn these sets these effects they are not worth the trouble. I mean you look cool because you'll be one of the few people in Rise right now who's actually wearing stuff that matches but it's very unfortunate that the new Elder Dragons equipment is just so lackluster, even if how they work is interesting in itself. So I was asking myself, why is it like this? Why is it so unique in how it works and yet so poor in function? Well, maybe it's because we haven't seen everything yet. After all, when we think about the story and how that ends on a cliffhanger, I think we can expect things to continue in future updates, right? And possibly there'll be a child version involved of those new Elder Dragons. Maybe at that time, we'll be able to combine the new weapons and armor from that with the parents for new effects that might even be, hey, relevant. It's a cool thought, but who knows? In any case, I did this testing so you didn't have to. I spent roughly five hours today farming in Ibushi just to get one orb, and the relief was palpable when I got that. Sorry. All right, so I'm looking at a blue gem, and, you know, it could be a wyvern gem. It's from Hunt Rewards. It's a wyvern gem, isn't it? Yeah, probably. It's Wind Serpent really? Orb! Oh, my nice. God! Oh, thank nice. God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh you my are god. way too lucky, by the way. I know. <laughs> I got yeah. two. And I think I was pretty lucky here to get it after five hours. But in the end, it's not even worth it. So hopefully I've saved you some time. But there it is. Hope the video was useful or interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we'll see something in the future with these strange mechanics? Please validate my struggles with a like on this video if you'd be so kind. And shout out and thank you to Lima for basically keeping me sane and giving me some company while I farmed this infinitely. But until next time, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment yes i said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye